the easiest way to supply your body with good bacteria is to eat one of the best foods, yogurt. But with maltodextrin, additives and sugar in the mixture, there are very few brands of yogurt that are able to deliver good bacteria only. If you are going to make healthy yogurt or kefir at home, there are some things you should consider before you begin. First, you need to understand the difference between the cooking process and fermentation. Cooking mixes ingredients and kills bacteria. Fermentation is a process in which you create the ideal environment, allowing the selected good bacteria to grow and multiply. The lactobacteria grow when processed nutrients, proteins and lactose in the milk until they are depleted. The bacteria in the freeze-dried starter are hibernating, so during incubation at the temperature of 40 to 45 degrees Celsius, they will go through four stages. They adapt to the environment and produce proteins for the next stage, which is rapid growth. During this second stage, nutrients are processed by bacteria at maximum speed until one of the nutrients is depleted and starts limiting the growth. The third phase of growth is caused by depleted nutrients and bacteria start consuming non-essential proteins. This phase is a transition from rapid growth to a stress response state. The final phase is the death phase where the bacteria run out of nutrients and die. Once you reach the right temperature, you can add the starter and mix. Please do not try to dissolve fully the freeze-dried starter. The starter contains a few billion bacteria and the main purpose is to distribute these bacteria to the whole container. During the fermentation, the starter will dissolve itself. Once the bacteria are in the milk, the first stage of the bacterial growth begins. It will continue about 6 to 12 hours. The second stage starts with rapid bacterial growth. It will take between 4 to 6 hours. In the third stage, the yogurt is set and it is time to be cooled down to halt the bacterial growth. The bacterial growth continues even in the fridge, but the process is slowed enough. The fourth phase would start after a week. However, if you keep the yogurt in the fridge, it will not start soon. If you make yogurt with ready yogurt plus milk, the process begins directly from the second phase of the bacterial growth and the yogurt is set for four to six hours as the bacteria are not hibernating and start working straight away. Please always use milk with no preservatives and additives as their purpose is to kill all bacteria. And to minimize competitive bacteria from getting in the mix, always wash your hands and pour boiling water over the containers and utensils before start. For more useful tips, videos and advices, please go to www.yogurtathome.com